Well, it wasn't the way that uh, we planned it, certainly. Uh, I guess before I talk about the game, I just want to congratulate Army. I thought they um, they played really hard and they did what they had to do. Uh, they played a good road game tonight, hung in there, uh, took advantage of a couple of chances and they buried it. And you know, hats off to Brian. He's done a great job and they've had a hell of a year. Um, and then I just want to um, acknowledge our senior class. Uh, there's nine of them that are involved in the program. And, you know, coming in two years ago, uh, we changed a lot of things and asked for more, uh, more time, uh, more effort. Um, and, you know, it was really tough transition for them. And, and they really came around and, and they bought into what we asked them to do. And they led us to uh, the year we had this year. And certainly they, I think their goal was to win a championship and get a picture on the wall. But um, I told them after the game that, um, you know, their legacy uh, will remain intact here and they'll have a big part of our program moving forward. And, um, you know, it's just it's too bad because they gave so much. I would have liked to have been able to advance to Rochester and see see if we could win a championship. But things happen for a reason, and um, you know, we'll, we have to uh, take a couple days to digest this, and then we'll uh, work to get better. No, that was a huge turning point. You know, I, I thought up to that point we were in total control of the game. Uh, we we had all the momentum. They weren't even able to get out of their zone. We eventually get a power play, and at that point, you know, you think you got five minute power play. You're going to get a goal. You're going to get or two or three. You never know, but definitely keep the momentum. And you know, we just made uh, a soft play and and not a not a great puck decision. And they read it and you know got the uh, breakaway. And but then you know after that we have to find a way to to respond. There was still four minutes and change left in the power play, and then we ended up getting another power play right after. And you know the power play for us has been um, you know up and down. You know we've had times where we've scored a lot of goals. We've had times we've had a lot of possession and a lot of shots and not scored goals. And um, But it, it's been a little bit of an Achilles heel for us. And, you know, shorthanded goals have been a little bit of an Achilles heel for us. And, and that uh, unfortunately changed the momentum of the game. It gave them life. They weren't really in it. They were on their heels and we were about to explode. We gave them life and then they started to believe. And then at that point, it's like just one shot here or there, a crazy bounce and they got it and we pushed, but we couldn't get our equalizer. Well, he's uh, he's good, really good size, and he's got a lot of poise, and he's square to the puck, and and he does give out rebounds, but he's really good uh, recovering on his rebounds to to square up, and I think they do a good job insulating around him. You know, they they block a lot of shots, and they try to get in shot lanes, and if it does get through, there's usually two or three people around him, and you know, I think a lot of their structure is based on having a goaltender like that, and you know. Tonight, we did a much better job of getting to the net. We did a much better job of driving the net. We did a much better job of possessing pucks. And, you know, we had 37 shots, and we had a number of great chances. And he's a really good goalie. And, you know, at the end of the day, we, um, you know, a two-game series, we scored one goal. It's tough to win a series if you're only scoring one goal. So, um, you know, we'll have to work on that moving forward.